hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here i am Eka. i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope the start of the new year is treating you well our start of new year was wonderful but a wave of arctic air, air rushed into my city and we're not used to cold and neither are my hummingbirds so i decided to make i have one hummingbird that is always on my deck and um i'm hoping to save her from freezing to death so i decided to make her a, a little house so she can the little shelter i i should say you know so she can hide from wind and from cold because you know like the is is not the cold that is that cold is the wind is with the windshield that um it's like freezing freezing temperature and so i had something something else in mind but um i didn't have any balloons in the house and i really don't feel like getting out of the house in this cold but um, if this doesn't work I will probably end up going to the dollar store to buy balloons so but anyway I'll try this this first I'll try this is a candle holder as you can see but it's it's small yet it's big enough for a hummingbird I will pad the inside of it with cotton balls, you know, so it's going to be nice and warm. But um, I decided to do the outside so so mostly to cover actually these holes in the in the candle holder. I don't know, did I tell you this is a candle holder? <laughs> anyway, this is a candle holder. So I already started off camera. Um, now I got to to the opening here so instead of like going continuing to go over it like that i will just slightly turn around and glue it like that and then i will continue like that i go to this end and when I get to the opening again I turn I simply turn around like that And I continue until the whole thing is covered. Now the house is all done. That's how it looks. All I have to do is pad it inside. And I know they are attracted to red. I know they, are, they like natural uh, matter. Like, brand, uh, I mean, leaves and hairs and grass and stuff like that so i picked a few dead leaves off of my plant or my house plant and i found <laughs> i found this reindeer thing from christmas so i guess i'm going to this is cotton the outside that felt whatever it is so i'm just taking it apart and i am throwing this in there hopefully you know that's gonna attract her to to go inside so <clears throat> I will glue in some of these um, pads on the walls and then I will throw in the red stuff and the leaves okay so my birdhouse is done I also glued in a little perch here because I know they like to 
they like to sit, you know, whatever they, they can find. So I will keep you updated on how this is going to go with my little bird. Hopefully she's going to be smart enough, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see if she is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I inspired you somehow to take care of your birds. I love animals, obviously, and even, you know, if they're wild, I feel so bad for them because they have nowhere to go. As I said, they are uh, native here. They don't go anywhere um, in the winter. They don't go south. And sometimes, most of the times, our winters are very mild here, but now we're going to have a couple of days of freezing temperatures and hopefully I'm going to save my little bird from freezing to death. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, we'll keep you updated on this, on this how it's going to go. I think this is very cute. Have a magical day, have a peaceful night, wherever you are. And please don't, for don't forget to subscribe to my channel.